Welcome back people, we've got another video on the Leon X, other words known as the Puzzlick PC100. Electric mountain bike, we did another video of boxing on this, and we also did a video of changing around the brakes, because when this bike comes, the left hand side here is the front brake. Really strange to me, in the UK we've always used the left as our back brake, not the front. But that's fine, it's, it is what it is, and uh, yeah, we did a little quick video of turning that around. Today, we're gonna to put on some mud guards on this thing. So let's do that. Also gonna be doing um, videos of riding this thing and all that kind of good stuff. So make sure you are subscribed. Make sure when you hit that notification bell, it says all, so you don't miss out on future videos. We do lots of different things, gaming and electric bikes, electric scooters and all mad stuff. You can find more of electric bikes and scooters in our playlist okay so this is how it's going to sit like that oh there we go <laughs> okay so the easiest way to do this is just to let's get the camera angles right bubbles take the seat off i'm gonna put the uh put it like that there we go put the seat back down ta-da there we go so this one is uh, pretty straightforward, really. Pretty easy done. There we go, kind of like there. That's how I'd like it to be. Oh. Yeah, there's all right. I want it a little bit above the tire, just in case when we're going over bumps and stuff. So if you want a flip screwdriver for this one. There we go. And then over on this side. So these mud guards, these cost £12.99, bought them from Amazon, which was the same place as where we got the bike from. There we go. And then we need to tighten up this bolt here, where it's on the actual bike seat post itself. Normally as a kid, I wouldn't bother with mud guards, but nowadays, um, yeah, I don't like my clothes smothered in, in a lot of dirt anymore. <laughs> but there it is, there's the back mud guard. We've got a bit of distance there, but of course you can adjust it to your liking just by uh, this screw here. You can obviously have it closer to the wheel or higher. That's just the way I like it. So with the front one, let's uh, have a look at this. See how this is going to go on. So let's move to the front. So the front, we have a headlight here, which is, that's where we're going to end up melting it. So let's, um, I'm sorry about all the mess. I like to keep things natural, you know me guys. I've got lots and lots of unboxing videos that I've been doing and uh, haven't yet had a chance to get rid of all of the boxes, clearly. <laughs> Okay, so three mil maybe? Nope. Okay, that's gotta be a four mil then. Yep, okay, four mil. Which is good, because I didn't actually um, tighten the light on this anyway, so it's a good job I didn't, because I would only have to do this anyway. All right, I'm gonna unscrew that all the way. There is a little washer on there, so we'll make sure we don't lose that. There we go. And then we have a bolt that comes with the front mud guard. Now I'm not gonna use that because I'm gonna use the bolt for the headlight. So we're just gonna take that off like so. And then we need the headlight on. And then we're gonna put, let's move the camera up a little bit more so you can see the headlight, the bolt's gone through, then the mud guard, then we screw it all back on. Okay, hopefully you can see everything clearly with a bit of luck. Um, where did I just put that 4mm Allen key? There it is. So 4mm. It's 
So we did have a little bit of a problem. We bought the bike from Amazon and it turned up. I did make a separate video of it, but I will talk about that and show you that in just a moment. Just in case you have the same problem with the battery as well. Of course, I want you guys to know that their support team is really good. And yeah, we will talk about that and we will show you. I do have a different battery that they sent me. I will show you that in a moment. But first, let's get this mud guard up and going. Okay. So that's as high up as it can sit, which is probably pretty too close to the um, to the tire, if I'm honest. Let me unscrew that, back it off a little bit. See if I can try to push that up as much as possible. There you go, keep that pushed up whilst I tighten that up. Hopefully it stays up high. Because that mud guard does sit quite close to the tire and I don't really like that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty close to the tire there, if I'm honest. I don't know if that's going to rub on there. Hmm. Hold on. Let's just have a look, see if I can adjust it on the inside of the mud guard. If not, then I'm just going to have to rock that until maybe I look around for another mud guard, possibly. No, okay, it's fixtured under there. There's no way for me to adjust it like there is the back one, which is a little bit of a shame. But I'm probably more concerned about the back than the front, if I'm completely honest. Um... I don't think, well actually, maybe another way I could do it is I could maybe run this bolt through here, through the headlight itself, and that'll make it sit higher. Yeah, I could maybe, I don't know, hmm, <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure. So I need it to sit upwards, but it doesn't sit up. Uh, let's tighten it back up again, see if I can try try get it in that position. If we can't, then as I said, I just have to rock it like this until until I'm able to. <clears throat> until I'm able to get a different mud guard. The main one is probably the back, to be fair. Yeah, that's way too close on there. That is way too close. Right, well, um, so with the battery, it turned up. Let's quickly talk about that, and then I might edit the video and see if I can figure a way out for this. But um, yeah, so for the battery, the battery turned up. There was no power to the bike. The only way I got power to the bike is when the charger was plugged in. As soon as I pulled the charger plug out, all power was lost. When you press the power button on the battery itself, it did nothing. So they sent me a new battery. I told them about the problem and they was awesome. No hesitation, they sent me out a new battery instantly. I received it the next day. Now I press the power button, the battery actually lights up and now the bike actually turns on without having the, um, the charger charger lead in which is awesome so yeah <laughs> that was the problem that we had so i'm going to end the video here as i said if i manage to figure out a different way for the mud guard i'll bring you guys back but if not hit that subscribe button keep an eye out for the next video coming very soon we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games i am out all right welcome back i think i've fixed the problem so i bent over this i put my screw through there the screw that it comes with and i've got a Quite a thick washer and then obviously the bolt that comes with this nut so we're going to put it through i'll put the headlight on there so i'm going to put it through the top and then i'm going to put on the big washer that i've got that i supplied myself and then we've also got the screw if i can try and get it through there <laughs> a little bit fiddly oh, hold on Oh, nearly there we go all right i've got to try and keep that screw there if i can put our washer on no i knew that was going to come through okay i'm going to have to hold it with a screwdriver this is the time you wish that you had someone else around 
to help you, but it is what it is. We can always get it done. Might take a bit longer just doing it ourselves, but okay. There's the washer. Grab the screw. Nut, shall I say? There we go. We're we're lock and loaded now. So, because it's bent upwards, that's the way I'm going to tighten it up. And if I tighten it up like that, and then it should technically sit higher than the um, it should sit higher than the tire. With a bit of luck, if I can get this bolt on, nut. I'm going to keep that screwdriver under there just to keep it from spinning. Let's try and keep that bolt there. So that allows me to spin the nut at the top. There we go. I think that's about right. Just need to try and tighten that, that nut up there as much as I can. Let's get our little pliers. Try to tighten that up. Whoop, hold on, there we go. Maybe I didn't even need that washer on there to be honest, it's not really wide enough that washer but anyway obviously I've got to tighten that bolt up a bit more but look how much that better that is that sits a lot higher it's not actually touching the tire now all right keep an eye out for the next video coming soon I am out